Progress Review 1. Exercise 11. Today on Radio 5, we're talking about a birthday party you won't forget. Have you been to a memorable birthday party? Call in and tell us about it. Ah, oh, we've got the first caller. Hi, I'm Grace. My friend Megan had the most amazing birthday party last year. It was her 13th birthday and she invited us to a spa. It was a nice place. We felt like celebrities. They looked after us all the time. First, the hairdresser did our hair. Then, someone painted our fingernails. And finally, they did our makeup. We looked wonderful. One thing that made me miserable, though, was the food. I was so hungry, but they only served cupcakes. I'm sure they were delicious, but I can't eat anything with eggs in. Oh dear. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. We've got James on the line. Hello, James. Hello. I'm calling to tell you about an awful birthday party I went to. My friend Nathan invited a few friends to an amusement park for his 14th birthday. It was a hot day and there were lots of people. We had to wait in a queue for a long time before we could take a ride. After a few hours, we were exhausted. How long can you stand in the sun and wait? Besides, the rides weren't terrifying at all. They were small and good for eight-year-olds. Finally, we decided to go to a 3D cinema. It was one of the attractions. But Nathan had to pay extra for the tickets, and it made him really furious. I was more upset about the popcorn. It was disgusting. So much salt. The good thing about the cinema was that we didn't have to wait in the queue once. Thank you, James. What a party. Remember, if you've been... Unit 3. Vocabulary. Exercise 2. 1. The Red Sea is a great place for scuba diving. Which of these is not a sea? Sea. The Blue Sea. 2. The Grand Canyon is an enormous deep valley. The river which made it is the... B. Colorado. 3. In Quan Binh, Vietnam, there is an enormous cave called Sun Dong. It holds the world's largest natural cave with a volume of... B. 38.5 million cubic metres. 4. Brazil is a fantastic place for adventure. You can visit the spectacular falls at Iguazu or watch the wildlife in the Amazon rainforest, which is bigger than... C. Western Europe. 5. You can surf some of the world's biggest waves in the Atlantic Ocean off the beaches of Ireland and Portugal. Which of these is not an ocean? B. North. 6. In the Gobi March, competitors run 250 kilometres through the dunes of the Gobi Desert. The race is part of a four-race desert challenge, which also includes the... A. Sahara, Atacama and the Antarctic. Unit 3. Vocabulary Exercise 3. 1. Max. Which would you prefer, Max? A trip to the mountains or a trip to the sea? Oh, I'd much prefer to go to the sea. I love the water. I do a lot of swimming and surfing. I also like walking along the beach. 2. 
Alicia. Is there anywhere in the world that you'd like to visit, Alicia? I'd love to visit the Sahara Desert. It's my dream to go on an adventure holiday and ride through the desert on a quad bike or maybe even a camel. 3. Elizabeth Elizabeth, would you rather trek through a desert or a forest? I think both are probably fantastic experiences. Maybe the forest would be more interesting because you'd see more wildlife. Yeah, and you'd be protected by the trees. Unit 3. Reading. Exercise 2. Follow the dream. Hey, do you dream of exotic places? Of trips to distant deserts and mountains? Do you dream of adventure? Well, Liz Clark has been living that dream and I've been following her inspirational blog. After finishing university, Liz learned to sail as one of her old professors offered to lend her his yacht for as long as she wanted it. In October 2005, she set off on her journey. Liz found it hard to leave behind her friends and family, but she's been travelling to many fascinating places for over 15 years. Among other countries, she has stopped off in Mexico, Costa Rica, Panama and the Galapagos Islands. When she stops somewhere, she surfs, does yoga and writes her blog. Adverts on Lizzie's blog have been paying for her trip. There are beautiful beaches, crystal clear water and perfect surf in her photos. But life on the ocean can also be difficult. It feels so great to inspire others to live their dreams, says Liz. I've worked hard and it hasn't always been easy or fun. She also gets very lonely, but she keeps going. She is looking for some company on the boat to stay with her as she carries on her journey around the world. Liz, I think I'll join you. Does anyone else want some adventure? Unit 3. Language Focus. Exercise 2. Have you been travelling? Yes, I have. Has it been fun? Yes, it has, but it hasn't been easy and the weather has been terrible. Unit 3. Vocabulary and Listening. Exercise 1. A. He's walking through the forest. She's walking around the forest. B. He's pushing the snowball up the hill. She's skiing down the hill. C. He's jumping over the puddle. He's stepping on a rock. D. He's jumping off the fence. He's going under the garage door. <laughs>